Hey, hey folks, this is Jason Carr, the developer of LaunchBox here once again, and this time we're going to be going through the brand new MS-DOS import process uh, that's new in LaunchBox 4.5. Previously, there was, of course, a way to install a DOS game, uh, which basically will install a game from um, uh, physical media or uh, a game's ISO file uh, of a CD or a floppy disk, etc., etc., etc. But now we have a way um, to mass import all of your already installed MS DOS games quickly and easily. So let's get started. In my documents folder here, I have an MS DOS folder that contains a bunch of uh, looks like 14 DOS games all in separate folders. So if we open up Wolfenstein 3D, for example, you see the actual installed MS-DOS files uh, for Wolfenstein 3D. And we also have two other files of significance in here. We have a DOSBox.conf uh, DOSBox configuration file, and then we have a manual.pdf file. Uh, both of these will be detected by the import process uh, to configure DOSBox and to uh, associate the manual with the game. So if you have a manual uh, PDF file um, or a DOSBox configuration file, you can keep those in the folders and they should automatically be detected upon import. But to get started here, all we have to do is drag our MS-DOS folder over to LaunchBox and LaunchBox will pop up with this import games from files wizard and we can choose that our games are MS-DOS games. And now we have an interesting option. We can choose to copy our DOS games into the LaunchBox folder or move our DOS games into the LaunchBox folder or use the files in their current location. Now this is convenient because it will let you relocate your entire, MS, your entire game folder for each of the games you're importing, um, either by copying or moving into the LaunchBox folder. And this is nice because this way, if you sync your entire folder in Dropbox, um, or if you just copy your folder, your LaunchBox folder over to a new machine or move it to a different location on your drive, um, et cetera, et cetera, it will, your games will continue to work um, in LaunchBox and launch with LaunchBox and everything else and nothing will get messed up, assuming that everything remains in your LaunchBox folder. They can, you can place things outside of the LaunchBox, LaunchBox folder as well, but then it's not guaranteed that if you move your LaunchBox folder that everything will come with it. So this is convenient because it will just organize everything into your LaunchBox folder so you can easily uh, sync your LaunchBox folder between machines or move them move it between machines and everything will come with it and everything will, will still work in, in between all your, all your machines. So that's really nice and definitely recommended to do that. So we'll go ahead and copy the files into my LaunchBox game, games folder. And then it asks us if we want to download metadata, metadata for our games. And of course we do. We'll go ahead and leave the defaults checked and hit next. And yes, we want to download all the images for our games. And now we have some interesting options here. Um, you can force importing duplicate games. Um, as I've mentioned many times, LaunchBox won't, implement, won't import a game that it detects as a duplicate. If it has the same title or the same startup file, um, by default, it won't import that. So you can go ahead and uh, import all your games over again. Um, just add the extra game if you, if you want, um, if you're not sure what's already been imported. Okay, and then the next option is to, uh, what, what we, I discussed previously, looking look for PDF files for use as the game manual. So if you have PDF files inside of your um, game folders, they will be detected as the manual for the game. Um, then we have look for and use dosbox.conf files for dosbox configurations. Same thing, um, if you have a dosbox.conf file in your game folders, they'll be detected and associated with the game for the configurations. Um, look for and use game setup files. Oftentimes, MS-DOS games came with a setup command or a setup.exe file that would let you set up things like the audio settings. So this option will just try and auto detect what those are. And then uh, attempt to automatically mount ISO or Q files as, as CD-ROM drive D. Now this will basically look in your DOS folders for an ISO or a Q file and attempt to mount that in DOSBox, which is recommended. 
Um, if you have an ISO or Q file in your in your DOS game folder, most likely it needs needs to be mounted, and almost always needs to be mounted as drive D. So um, that's recommended to keep checked. Uh, and then of course um, the option to rename game folders using title and year. So if you check this as the as the uh, your MS DOS games are getting copied into Launchbox into the Launchbox games folder, it will automatically rename them. Uh, nicely for you using the game title and year. So we'll go ahead and leave that checked. Then we'll go ahead and hit next and it'll show us all the games that it's going to import, uh, the name of the games, and then the startup file uh, that it detected and the root folder. Now this deserves a, a little bit of discussion here. Obviously the name of the game you can change to be whatever you want. So if the name is incorrect on any of these, uh, looks like Star Wars Dark Forces should be with a colon there so we can change that and then in the startup file column you can quickly review to see to make sure that it, it's using the correct uh, startup exe file now uh, when we developed this we we put a lot of effort into um, artificial intelligence as far as determining which exe should be used to launch these games but obviously it's not perfect we can't identify the exe to be used for every single or batch file or com file to be used for every single game ms dos game out there so we took our we take our best guess and it's usually right um, but in the event that it chooses an incorrect entry you can simply click um, the drop down and choose a different one um, so that's nice and easy and then the root folder um, in this case should all be correct uh, but the root folder, you just want to make sure that, that every piece of the game, all the game's files are included inside of this folder. Um, and it's easy when you're importing a folder. It's a little bit more tricky to guess uh, when you're importing files directly, startup files directly. Um, and so you might need to review this in that situation. But you just, you just want to make sure that all the game's files are in this particular folder. That's what the root folder uh, is for. Now we'll go ahead and hit finish and our import process will be off. I think I'm going to go ahead and speed this up. You will notice that in 4.5 we've um, made this uh, really convenient in that you can continue to use Launchbox. You can launch your games, you can edit games while in the import processes are running. So that's nice and convenient. It does look like this is going pretty quick, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, come back after this is complete. All right, we're just about done. And there are our DOS games, all imported and ready to go. Um, and you'll notice if we open up Wolfenstein 3D, you'll notice that um, it has the right EXE file here. Our root folder is correct. And um, under DOSBox, it's using our DOSBox.conf. And I think it's under other, yep, there we have our games, game manual path. We have our manual for the game. So everything came in, imported from that folder automatically. And we are all set to go. We should be able to just double click on these games and run them. Um, we'll, we'll go ahead and give it a shot with Wolfenstein 3D. And there it is. There's our Wolfenstein 3D. Close that for now. And we're all set and ready to go. Um, so that's the new MS-DOS games import feature uh, in LaunchBox version 4.5. Um, as always, thank you for watching. And if you're interested in more LaunchBox tutorials and content, please subscribe. Thank you much. Bye-bye.